and welcome to the Children's Museum of Cleveland. I'm Miss Kelsey and I'm here with another exciting science experiment that you can watch us do now and also try at home with your adult permission. Today's activity is all about acid-base reactions. Now those are some fancy words for a pretty simple thing. You just need a base. Our formula here is for baking soda. Baking soda is something you might have at home and use already. The next part of our formula is our acid. And our acid today is white vinegar, which is something you also might already have at home. So when you mix a base like baking soda with an acid like vinegar, you get a reaction. That means something new is created. And today we'll be creating a gas, CO2, some water, H2O, and then two ions. So we will know we have a reaction if we see evidence of that CO2 gas. And that evidence will be bubbles. So let's go ahead and demonstrate our acid-base reaction to see if we get those CO2 bubbles. So I have a fancy science flask right here, but you could just use a cup or jar at home. I'm gonna pour in some baking soda. Doesn't matter if I use too much or too less, just a good amount to kind of cover the bottom of my jar. And then I'll be pouring in the vinegar or our acid. Now remember, for our reaction to be an acid-base reaction, we should see a gas being produced. So we should see some bubbles. Let's test it out. Ooh, and right away, you can see all those bubbles fizzing to the top. So thumbs up if we had acid-base reaction. Very good. Our base and our acid made some CO2 gas for us. I'm gonna set this aside so I can talk a little bit about the most popular way to try this at home. So the most popular way to have an acid-base reaction at home is with a volcano. Pat your head if you like volcanoes. Me too. Before we try the reaction with our volcano, I'm going to explain how volcanoes are made. So we are standing on the crust of the earth and there's two types of crust. There's oceanic crust and continental crust. If you want to act this out with me, you can take your two hands out like this. Now my oceanic crust is less dense than my continental crust. So when they move together, the oceanic crust is gonna go below the continental crust. So the continental crust goes up and forms the volcano. The oceanic crust goes below and it starts to melt. I'm gonna use my volcano to show you what that might look like. So here's my volcano. The continental crust formed this mountain shape. The oceanic crust was melting below the continental crust and forming all this magma. And magma weighs less than the continental crust. So as it forms, it's gonna start building up into the magma chamber. And when enough of it builds up, what do you think will happen? That's right, the volcano will explode. So we're gonna demonstrate that with our acid-base reaction. We can't have magma here at the museum, but we can do another acid-base reaction. So I'm gonna put my volcano back together. So you just see the outside, the part made by continental crust. And then to make this reaction a little bit more fun this time, I'm gonna add some red food coloring so it looks more like magma and lava when it comes out. And then, once again, I got my base baking soda and my acid vinegar. So first, I'm gonna add my red food coloring. And you could always add a different color. I just wanted to add red because it looks more like lava to me. Next, I'm gonna add my liquid, my acid vinegar. And just want a couple tablespoons. And finally, I'll be adding my base baking soda. But before I do, I need you to make a prediction. What do you think is gonna happen when I add this baking soda? If you thought that it's all gonna bubble out, 
Let's see if you're correct. So if your hypothesis or guess was that it was going to form a reaction that produced CO2 or gas bubbles, you were correct. Okay, friends, that was our reaction for today, an acid-base reaction. If you want to watch it again, go ahead and rewind the video. If you want to try this at home, go find an adult friend and get their permission. We'll see you next time from the Children's Museum of Cleveland. For more programming like this, see cmcleveland.org.